Hello, Surprise Online subscribers, and today we're going to have our Java programming topic number six Java data types. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Hello, guys, I am guys. We have our uh, new topic about Java data types, and here we go. was explained in the previous lesson a variable in java must specify a data type data types are divided into two groups so we have the primitive data types which includes a byte short int long float double boolean and car we also have non-primitive data types these are uh, string arrays and classes a primitive data type it specifies the size and type of variable values and it has no additional methods these are the different data types so first we have the byte which the size is one byte then we have short which is two bytes then you have in four bytes then long eight bytes float four bytes double eight bytes boolean one bit and char two bytes all of these are the requirements for requirements for the uh are there are different eight primitive data types in java okay so okay so for non-primitive data types non-primitive data types are called reference types because they refer to objects. The main difference between primitive and non-primitive data types are first, primitive types are predefined. They are already defined in Java. Non-primitive types are created by the programmer and is not defined by Java except for string. Second, Non-primitive types can be used to call methods to perform certain operations, while primitive types cannot. Third, a primitive type has always a value, while non-primitive types can be null. Next, a primitive type starts with a lowercase letter, while non-primitive type starts with an uppercase letter. The size of a primitive type depends on the data type, while non-primitive types have all the same size. So as we can go back here, uh, these are the different size of our data. So uh, you can use a byte for uh, numbers that is negative 127 to 128. And uh, here, uh, it became bigger, no? It becomes bigger. The number becomes bigger as the number of bytes increases. So if you only have a few numbers, like uh, you will use only um, 1 to 7 or 100, you will use the data type byte. You will not use uh, short or int. Okay, so this is our sample program for our public class data type. So we have here our public class declaration. And uh, please do not forget to remember that the, the class name is also your file name, the data type. Same, uh, the case should be uh, the same because Java is case sensitive. Then we have this one, the public static void main string args. And uh, we have here the different uh, declarations of our numbers. So first we have int my number equals 8. So these are the shaded number would be uh, the value of the integer. Look at it. Uh, it's around 2,147,483,647. That's the highest value for the variable int. For the data type in and uh, it starts with a negative uh, two billion hundred forty seven million four hundred eighty three thousand six hundred forty eight then the next data type which is float 
So the name is my float number, and this is the value, 8.99F. So that's a floating point number. Then another would be the uh, data type car, which our uh, name of our variable is my letter, in which the value is C. Please uh, remember here that uh, you will use single quotation here for your character. Then you have the Boolean, wherein um, the value of this could be false or true. So in this case, we write the value of false. Then we have the byte. Our the name is my byte. The value is 100. And uh, this is the maximum value for byte, negative uh, 128 to 127. And then next is the short. So the value is negative uh, 32,768 to 32,767, that is short. And for long, we have here, take note for the long, you can see here the letter L on the number, and the value is very big for, for the long. Uh, I don't know what's the number, but it's very big number for long. And the next we have double, my double, in which uh, you could see here, that uh, there's a decimal point and uh, there's the letter D here in double. So same as here with float, there's an F in double, there's a D. Then in string uh, here, this is a non-primitive uh, data type, the string, and it's capital letter S. No? If you're going to compare this with, uh, with uh, other data types, uh, the string uh, has a capital letter. Okay, so these are the value. So uh, this part here, the system that out that print line, uh, these are our outputs of the following numbers here. So what we do now? We're going to save this one, and we are going to go to our run that bot. We have our run that bot, and we have to uh, see. We have already included here in the Java, the data type, the Java, and uh, data type here. And uh, that's already okay. And uh, we're going to click this one. And we can see that there's a, <laughs> there's an error. So what's an error? System.out.println my double. Cannot find symbol my double. So we're going to review our code. The symbol my double. Double my double. Okay. Double my double. What's the difference between here? Let's try to save. Okay. Okay, so we'll go back, guys. And uh, what's the problem with that? The problem is this. So... We use capital letter M here. Uh, our declaration is small letter M here. So we will delete this one. File, save. And uh, we are going to run. Uh, that's the problem. The my double. Okay, cannot find symbol, my double. You have the correct symbol here. So that's the error. So we already changed that here uh, and here. You know? So let's try to save that and run again. Run. And it's go. That's correct, guys. So that's all. I hope you learned something today about um, data types. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I hope and pray you learned something about the different data types. You have to use the different data types according to your uh, purpose, no? Um, by using the correct data type, you can save memory space, and uh, that is very important. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, always remember, learning is lifetime. Bye. See you in our next tutorial. Bye-bye.